Franco Canadian in a German styled car is going to be an American with a muscle car at burnouts. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the fourth season of the monthly mayhem challenge. And this time, this is the Inferno challenge where we're going to be taking the Kyosho Inferno GT 1.8 scale on-road car and convert them to burnout machines. Now there's one trick or twist to this whole thing. And that is that this Kyosho Inferno GT is the nitro version, as you can tell by the exhaust hanging out of the side. Now I've never owned, operated, tuned, or even driven a nitro RC car before. And I don't think that Matt has me beat on the experience side of that either. So we're both gonna try and tackle this challenge again in something that we have very little ability in. The goal of this challenge is to take these vehicles and turn them into machines that look like they're doing realistic style burnouts on film. Now, Matt and I have discussed and we are planning to try and replicate some sort of movie or TV scene, making these have a realistic appearance. We didn't put too many rules on this challenge just because we found in the past that you know, sometimes we get a little overzealous with the rules. So in this one, the only rules that we really had is that we have to keep the stock body. The smoke has to come from inside the vehicle and you can't just push up against something to do the burnout. It needs to hold itself or appear, you know, the rule was that we couldn't just nose up against something and try and spin the tires off. That's mainly for, you know, the look and style there, but that's pretty much all. We didn't say that we had to keep it nitro, but I think that both of us aren't planning to try and convert. Nitro engines are staying as much as doing a electric conversion would have been the easy thing or just getting the electric version of this vehicle, which Kyosho offered. But no, we decided that we were gonna go with the terrible, terrible decision to try nitro cars for the very first time. So obviously I have got the Dodge Demon version of the Inferno GT. Matt has got the Audi R8 version. Same exact car underneath, different body on top. But for me, this I think is the choice if you're trying to do a burnout car. I think this was the obvious decision, but maybe that's just the American coming out of me. This is a big car. It's a 1.8 scale on-road. Overall, it's just much bigger than a typical 110 scale that you would be you know, used to. Let me grab one for comparison. Here is the drag bolt. You should all be familiar with this. Matching the back of the body up, you can see how much distance we have here. You know, I've got another eight or 10 inches of car left in front of this thing. These are big vehicles. Just to give you some overall dimensions of this, Total length is about 26 and a half, roughly. The wheelbase itself is just over 14 inches and the width is about 12 and a half inches. So this thing definitely has some significant spatial requirements. But taking off this big Dodge body, we see underneath the Kyosho platform. Now this is eight scale based for the most part. Now I admittedly don't know much about eight scale platforms either. I, you kind of see what my wheelhouse is. I stick to pretty similar things. So we're branching out again. I'm going to have to figure this thing out. This truck out of the box is a four wheel drive vehicle for burnouts, especially with a muscle car. That's not going to work. So I'm going to disconnect the front. This does have a two speed transmission, so it does not have an open center differential. So removing the front wheel drive is going to be as easy as pulling that dog bone out. From there, I definitely plan to lock the rear and I also plan to lock the front differential. And that is because I need to be able to lock up the front wheels and able to attempt to hold this thing in place. And I wanna do that through at least at first attempt through the front tires. Now, I think that just stopping them in a very simple way with some sort of servo actuation into the diff or whatever it is, I don't know that that's gonna work just on its own because I think it could push through that situation. So I may have to load up a bunch of weight in the front of this, lock out the suspension just so that it you know sits there, but it's got enough contact pressure with those stopped tires that it doesn't wanna push through. 
that's something that we'll have to play with as we get further on along in this series. As far as the actual tire smoke or the appearance of tire smoke or however you want to say that, that is definitely going to be a big part of the challenge. The thing is, is that we want to make this a realistic look. Now, Matt and I decided to do this project before that Arma infraction even came out where, you know, tire smoking RC became all of a sudden fairly mainstream now, but this one, again, realistic look rather than a basher RC style. I actually own the infraction and I only got to drive it for about 30 seconds before it blew the tires off, but I recently got replacements for those and those tires I've actually got mounted on the other side of this vehicle. And the nice thing about those tires is that they do actually produce a realistic tire smoke. So that will help in that. The other things that I plan to do is look at rerouting the exhaust to dump into this rear area. And speaking of that rear area, I want to actually get it all sealed off the whole rear from the interior of the body. I don't want the body to just fill up with smoke. I want it to look like it's coming out of the wheel wells tr and try and keep that in a, you know, as realistic as an attempt as closing that off as possible. I think that will help, you know, seeing the smoke come out of the appropriate areas of this body. I'm gonna reroute the exhaust back there just to get any of the, you know, visible fumes that come out of this nitro engine in that area. Those coming out will, add even just a little bit. I've also been told by one of the local Nitro guys, Chris, who is very knowledgeable in these and races this type of setup often, that we can do a couple of things with the fuel to really make this thing put out some smoke. One more thing to help us with this process. Now up to this point, I haven't tried to fire this engine at all. It's exactly as it came out of the box, basically. It has not been touched. And partially that was because I'm filming here in the studio right now and I didn't want an oily, nasty vehicle that smells like nitro sitting in the studio for however long until I got around to filming this. And I'm kind of guessing that once I start this, I might be filming this in a different location anyway, just because it is a nitro vehicle and I have been around them enough to know that they, they've got a funk. So while I have this Dodge Challenger, Matt's got the Audi R8, and I do suspect that since his real world car is an all wheel drive that he'll probably stay that way with his. Now I think that I've got an advantage there being that I plan to go to rear wheel drive, but at the same time this challenge is a lot of trying to make this look realistic and that is going to come down to the cinematography part and that is definitely going to be an advantage for Matt. We do need to pick a TV or movie scene that we're kind of trying to look at, to replicate, things like that. And I kind of have had a hard time finding exactly which one I wanted to go with there. Joe Dirt was one of the ones that I was kind of thinking of. While it's not a Dodge Demon, I don't know that we're trying to pick the exact same vehicle, especially with how new this one is. Um, so still just kind of up in the air there. I do know that uh, the Grand Tour used a Dodge Demon and there's probably a pretty good burnout in that. I need to go back and watch that, see if I can pull that off because that would be helpful and a gratuitous burnout which may uh, result in something that is more along the lines of what I need to replicate. If you guys have any thoughts or recommendations on movie scenes or TV shows that could be replicated easily, part of what I'm looking at would be, it would be nice to find something that had a backdrop that was somewhat easy for me to replicate, you know, industrial or cityscape, something like that. You know, if it's something very specific, like the Joe Dirt one with the toll booth or the you know security gate thing, that's a little bit more difficult. I'm not looking to get into uh, building small scale buildings or even I guess not that small with the size of this car. I did do some shopping before this challenge though. And I picked up a bunch of sets of belted 1-8 scale tires. These are actually GRP, I think. Yeah, these are GRP tires. Had these cars in hand since before the infraction came out, which was in like June or something like that. So like I said, you know, sometimes we get these things and we have to find out where they fit in our schedules, especially with the budget builds happening. But now I have these Arma Hoon tires on here, which do have, or do produce a realistic smoke when spinning. And I think that they actually look really good. They're, 
The wheel is a little bit smaller, a little bit more sidewall to them. They just look appropriate on this car. The large white letter tires on the sides, pretty common trend now. So I think that, that actually looks appropriate for a car like this. But then of course, I also needed to go shopping for things that you need for nitro cars, like fuel bottles and igniters and some plugs and stuff like that. All stuff that I have a general understanding of, but absolutely no firsthand knowledge. I don't think that I'm really gonna get much running of this vehicle in stock form. I'm just gonna dig right in, start modifying, just because we obviously have the abbreviated schedule of a monthly mayhem to really work things out. And speaking of the schedule, for this series, we're gonna be doing five episodes, one every Wednesday. This week is week one, we've got three more weeks after that a regular fabrication and testing videos and then we'll have a short delay before the actual finale video. I'm gonna have a little bit of a wrench thrown in things because I've got an event coming up and then I've got a show in Vegas that I've got to make it to and all of that is happening very soon and definitely going to put a little bit of a pinch during at least one of the weeks. But I think this one could be fun trying to get this nitro engine up in the second gear spinning the tires on this thing just doing whatever we can to pour smoke out of the back of this vehicle. Like I said, the smoke has to come from inside, so no fog machine pointing at it from the outside or having a real car do a burnout next to it. This one, smoke's gotta be generated from inside this vehicle. Got some ideas, got some thoughts and plans, but it's gonna take some execution. Definitely need to get on it though, because clock has started ticking now. The time for debating is over and decisions have to get made. But if you guys have any other suggestions for the series, absolutely throw them in there. We purposefully pick the series that we have a limited knowledge base on just because it makes it a little bit more fun for us. And it's not just the same thing that we do over and over. So. It's a learning experience for everyone. You guys can laugh at our failures, you can watch our frustration, and hopefully my triumph for the second time because I've already lost two in a row. The last one was pretty arguable though. I think I have a pretty strong case on that one. But this one, I need a clear victory. So let's go Team USA. Thanks you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the Monthly Mayhem videos as soon as they get uploaded. We'll see you next Wednesday for the next Monthly Mayhem Week 2 video. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I feel like I need to put some sort of patriotic wrap on the roof of this thing or maybe some fast and furious underglow even. I really feel like I should be drinking a Budweiser rather than a avocado acai superfood smoothie though.